Hello, lovelies. Let's start crafting and make it till our eyes smile, I like to say. Today is Lady Shabby Tuesday, and joining me is my friend Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. She does wonderful, wonderful DIYs. Please check my description box for her video link and her channel. I know you'll fall right in love with her. She's so awesome. And don't forget, tell her Miss Crafty Lady sent you. We're going to begin with one of these Dollar Tree little signs and some Hobby Lobby craft paper. I'm just going to trace around the box. And I did two sides because I want to put one in the back and I'm going to put one on the inside. I'm going to use the eraser part of my pencil and that's how I press down to make that crease where I want to cut. I fold it over a little just to make sure that I'm cutting on the line where I want it to be flush inside that picture frame. I make sure I do it to both sides for I could have it in the inside of the frame and on the outside of the frame. Then I'm going to use this folk art plaid chalk paint in white and I'm going to paint the back, the sides, the whole entire frame. I take the first piece of paper and I turn it over and put a sm small amount of Mod Podge slightly on the back and press it right on the inside. Now I do put Mod Podge on the inside and the back side and put my papers in on top. And then I just put the Mod Podge right over each paper, each side. After it dries, I'm gonna get my doilies and I got these from Panda Hill. They were gifted to me by them. Thank you, Panda Hill. They are absolutely wonderful and lovely. The quality, I'm telling you my lovelies, is beautiful and you get a bunch inside your package. So I think it's a win-win. I will leave all those links in my description box. The things I do use today, I'm not gonna say everything. If I forget something, sorry, I'm gonna put it in my description box for you. So now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut around that doily all the little flower parts off, and I'm gonna keep that small little circle. And I play with it. I look at it and make sure where I want it to sit. I am losing, using black glue. Yes, I am. So it's easier for you guys to see. And you can see what I'm doing. I just put little dabs of glue right there underneath that doily. Just in certain little spots where I want it to stay. And where I don't want it to move. I love my silicone makeup brush. I get these from the Dollar Tree. Absolutely love it and my Mod Podge adhesive spray. I'm just gonna spray right over that doily and let it dry. Now I'm getting me a piece of fabric, a strip. It is 100% cotton Muslim fabric in the color of an antique ivory. And it's my favorite to use. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there after I twisted it and there you go. I'm not fancy about it. This is shabby beautiful. I do this until my eyes are smiling. What I am happy with it is so simple. I know you can do this. All you do is twist your fabric strip, gather the middle, put a little bit of hot glue, twirl it, and then bunch it up. And then after you do that, I'm gonna glue what I started with right to where I want it to be placed. And then I'm going to add a little bit more glue as I go along. 
So I add glue to the side and on the bottom. See, I use black so you can see. And I'm gonna twirl it and then place. See how I twirl it and then I twist. And then I'm gonna add some more glue to the side and to the bottom. And then I'm gonna twirl and place. And I'm gonna do this. You can use this on a piece of circle felt, a piece of a circle craft paper or anything that you have. If you don't wanna do it this way, you can make them separate and you can make a bunch of different sizes and then just glue them as you want them. But today I am gluing it straight to my project. So I'm just gonna follow through and add some more glue, twist in place, glue and twist in place. These are so beautiful when they're done. Shabby beautiful. I know you would love making them. Once you start, you're just going to want to put them everywhere. <laughs> I am showing you a little bit slower. I'm not speeding this up right here because I do want to make sure that you see how that I'm doing it and that you can follow along if you want to make any of these. Mm. So now I'm going to add some glue, twist, in place. You make it as big as you want. You can cut it, you can go all the way around. It's whatever size that makes your heart sing and your eyes smile, right? Make it till you smile. That's what I always say, right? <laughs> I do like to do one of my ends and glue it to where it looks like a little leaf coming off of my little rosettes. I do add two. I make one and then I make a smaller right next to it. Now I'm going to get this uh, doily piece that we had cut off the center and I'm just going to cut one of the little rosettes off and place it right there next to where I want it by the roses. And you play with your project. You always look where you want to put it before you glue.
Now I'm going to use some of these really beautiful flower ribbon I got from Panda Hill also. It was gifted to me. And oh my goodness, you guys, I am very happy with the products that they sent me. Gorgeous. The colors, it does come in a lavender. It comes in a baby blue, like a blush blue, baby blue. And then this is more of a pinkish coral with such a beautiful green leaves. It's just absolutely stunning. And you get quite a bit of it. I will leave that link also in my description box along with the code so you can get a wonderful discount. So I decided to add one more of those little doily rosettes just above and then I'm going to add one more of those flowers from that flower ribbon. Now this I got from the Dollar Tree, a bush of flowers that I like to incorporate, sometimes separate. I just pull one off and add it to my project. You now these little paper flowers I get from Hobby Lobby. They're $5.99, but I always wait until they're on sale and when they are, I grab a few of them very beautiful they're dainty paper flowers and the colors are so shabby beautiful shabby beautiful I didn't say that all the way <laughs> I do hope, lovelies, you like that I'm using the black hot glue so it's easier for you to see where I'm placing the glue. I really wanted to try this out and I think I'm really liking this. It does help it help you see where I am placing glue and how much of it. Panda Hill also sent me this wonderful stamp and it comes with a beautiful wood handle and a brass stamp and it's for wax with so you can stamp the hot wax and I absolutely was really excited when I received this. I am using the gold wax and I just warmed it up with my candle with my little hot wax spoon and I'm just going to pour it right there on my project and then I'm going to get my stamp. And I'm just going to press right down in the middle and you press firmly. I let it sit for just a moment. And then after it, I felt it cooled off a little bit. You don't really have to leave it this long, but you just leave it there for a moment and then pick up in your picture of what your stamp is there. Oh, so gorgeous. I was really happy with this. But as you can tell, I took my stamp back off because I, for I was so excited. I forgot to place my lace. I wanted to add lace hanging down from underneath my wax stamp. So I had to take that off and then I put my wax some more down, put my on top of my lace and then I stamped it. And then I didn't want, I wanted my stamp to be more, uh, you know, up a little, you know, where you could see it more. So I hope I make sense. And I added it right to the hot stamp still and added a little bit of hot glue on the edge just to make sure it, it glued or it kind of sealed itself really nice to that lace. So now I'm using some Totally Dazzled gems. I love Totally Dazzled. Oh my goodness, absolutely beautiful. I will leave their link also in my description box. But they have stunning, stunning bling, I'm telling you. It never disappoints. Gorgeous. And if you love Shabby Beautiful or you love Glam, I'm telling you to go check Totally Dazzled Out because you will find something that you completely fall in love with.
Now the lace, I am going to get my scissors and I just choppy cut my lace up. See how I go in one lane and just start chopping it up. I want it to have that shabby beautiful look to it and I just start cutting that ribbon and just fluff it out. Now I'm going to use these little wooden knobs that I got from Walmart and I'm just going to paint them with my apple barrel plaid acrylic black paint and then I glue it to the top of the frame. Now what I'm doing is going to add some glue right to the bottom on the very top of that candlestick holder I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put it on just the sides where the frame touches and I put quite a bit of generous amount of hot glue right in the center so it touches and then I put fill it the whole gap in with glue yep I fill that whole gap in now I'm going to get some of these little strips the fabric strips you can use any kind that you have on hand or that you want to use ribbons I'm using Dollar Tree ribbon. I just put all kinds, just whatever makes my heart sing and my eyes smile, that's what I use. I added a black piece of lace ribbon and then I tie them all together with one more piece of fabric. I tie it tightly and then I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the tip and I'm gonna push it right in underneath the frame and that gives it some more stability and then I'm going to add little scraps of that lace ribbon that I cut and I'm just going to add it to the top I'm going to get one of these BB craft keys I love these keys and I'm just going to put some more of that material strip right through the key and then I'm just going to put a regular little simple shoe tie bow. And then I'm just going to trim the tails. You don't have to if you don't like, but I did. And then I'm just going to glue it right there on top of the lace tails that I put there on the ball right there. I hope I make sense. <laughs> Sometimes I talk and I'm all over the place. Now I'm going to turn my frame around in that lace that or the doily that we cut. I'm just going to glue it right to the back draping from one corner to the other on the top of the frame in the back. So you can face it. If anybody sees behind it, it's going to still have some eye appeal. And then I'm going to put some more that the left of that lace or the doily gosh i'm just all over the place sorry and i glue it right to the bottom and tuck it underneath the frame so that gives it like i said more stability and it looks like a doily is like kind of laying underneath on top of that candlestick underneath that frame so it gives it such a cute look i added the last one right to the corner on the top in the front so now I'm going to lay my silicone uh, makeup brush right there underneath that key. And I'm going to add some of the Aileen's uh, tacky glue just on the sides of the key. And I'm going to add my little glass, magnifying glass that goes right into that key. And it will dry clear. And 
and there you have it is that not gorgeous so beautiful shabby beautiful i hope you enjoyed this so gorgeous it kind of gives it a whimsical shabby chic feel kind of a tim burtony feel isn't that beautiful mm, i love it to get that effect i should have said that but to get that effect of the white i always i never clean off my brush when i want that look i just kind of dry brush it with the mod podge on it and i use the same brush and i just go along and that's how i get that look Thank you so much for visiting me today. Please subscribe. I really love for you to be part of my Crafty Lini World family. And don't forget, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. And it also lets me know that you enjoy what I'm doing. And to me, that is what's most important, is that you leave Crafty Lini with a smile. It was my pleasure crafting with you today. And if you like Shabby Beautiful, visit me every Tuesday with another co-host for making things shabby beautiful for Lini shabby tuesday hugs kisses and very dust wishes lovelies be kind be kind to yourself and others i'll see you in my next video